Hi everyone, this is RV, and today we are going to calculate value at risk by using Monte Carlo simulation. So let's start. So we're going to import library. Run this, we are going to calculate it for one stop. And for that, I'm going to download this data. The reader, Apple, uh, data source, Yahoo, part is equal to, and and then we are going to use HTTP. We have the data as well. All right, we are going to calculate log return. So it will be data dot nt dot log one plus data dot percentage change. Head of the data. Oops, uh, there's something wrong. So we got the return as well, log return. Now uh, we are going to calculate the mean, which is data of log return dot mean. All right, we need to calculate volatility as well. Okay, so before we proceed, I'm just going to share the formula. Okay, so we need to calculate mu into change in time plus volatility into uh, <clears throat> random factor into square root of change in time. Volatility is equal to volatility. So we have a time which is equal to one divided by 250. Two working days, so it's then here. And then I'm going to say mean time, which will be this factor, mu into a uh, change in time. So I'm going to say mean into time. And then we are going to calculate this factor as well, which is volatility into change in time, the square root of change in time. So what we're gonna do, vol is equal to, or vol underscore time is equal to vol into mp dot sqrt of time. Let's run this. Now, the only remaining factor we have here is random variable. So for that, what we are going to do is, we are going to say rent is equal to norm dot ppf np dot random dot rand. Let's run this. Let's check the random numbers. All right, so we got n iterations and 10,000 time intervals. All right, so now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to calculate a random factor. So for that, random factor is equal to mean time plus wall time into rand. So run this. All right, so we got an equation, which is this one. Now, <clears throat> In order to calculate the price series, what uh, we are going to do, we need to define as not S T O actually, or we can say S T at the time of uh, the first initial price, we can say. And what we have here, data of Apple dot lock 
So we have different way. Uh, I love actually. Let's check here. All right. So this is the last price. Uh, okay. So we have head here. We can check the tail as well. That's the last price we have here. This is this. Perfect. We have defined S not here. Now we need to define the series. So it's the same thing what I have done in our previous video. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy the code and put it here. So it can be like ren factor. Let's check the price list as well. How does it look like? All right. So we have 10 columns and 10,000 iterations. Okay, so the next step for us is to populate the price in the first row. So I'm going to grab the code from my previous video just to save some time. All right, so now let's check the price list again. Okay, uh, now in order to calculate this equation, all we need to do is <clears throat> we need to run a loop. I have run that loop, but here I have just added some additional item, which is the beginning price again. So in the previous video, I have used some exponent and other stuff. Uh, okay, so instead of time interval, I have written here. So instead of rent vector, now let's check the price again. Okay, let's convert it into a pandas series. So what I'm going to do up here is new price is equal to td dot data print, and it's going to be price list. Next the price dot head. All right, so we got the series. Now so we can calculate the dot percentile new price comma ninety nine. Okay, one seventy four dollar is basically our percentile. Now all we need to do is in order to calculate the bar. It's going to be 42. So 42 is at risk. It will be in dollar, obviously. So $42 is at risk. I'm going to uh, do one more thing here. So I'm going to check the histogram of the series. So this. Just a sec. Like size is equal to. 12 comma 12 and i'm also going to okay so this is the histogram of price but we don't want like this we want red time so i'm just going to say percentage change and let's see <clears throat> all right now it's look perfect and all the charts are following the normal distribution so let me do one more thing here let me set the bins see i'm great let's run it Great. Uh, let me just make it bigger. Awesome. Now, uh, I'm going to shrink it and try to make it in the few line of code. So, all I'm going to do here is. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's your story. So, I'm going to say. Here and then I'm um, going to put hydrations and time interval here. For this, and then random and random factors. And I'm going to define as not here. Right, so I need to generate a matrix types and the loop for. Calculating the price and finally, this is the price conversion from NumPy array to 
kind of kind of thing. So okay, and this is our R. So R is equal to this. All right. So we can also print R here. I can also do one more thing here, which is chart. And I can also do one more thing here because I want to show it to you how it will look like. And then I'm going to say plot. And it's going to be. Oh, yeah, there will be no wins. Program. Oh, all right, so I cannot do the percentage change. So the part are series as well. Perfect. Now let's put it here. Let's run it. Small letter. Let me pause this video and then uh, I will fix the issue and share it with you. All right. So I found the problem, and the problem is I didn't set a first row here with the price of S0. So all I need is basically this one. And I need to move this just like this. So yeah, here I just remove it for testing. No, perfect. All right, so now we can also grab all the information. Perfect. Uh, we can also do it for one uh, iteration. So instead of creating 10 series, we can have one series as well. So we can see <clears throat> that the distribution is following normal and this is the price movement, the forecasted price. So, so that's it for today. Hope you liked the video and please hit the like button. And if you still didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe it. So I really do appreciate it. And it will also give me a motivation to make more videos. And please share it with your friends and colleagues because if you are getting benefit, I want it that they also get benefit from this.